Ghetto Street Fight as we get back here on ECPW Showcase TV. Welcome back to ECPW Showcase TV. As you just heard, BET set to join us here in Cortland, Jimmy. And I gotta tell you, BET and the unemployment line have had their problems, have had their run ins. Let's see if this one actually finishes it off. As we see Junior White leading them down to the ring right now. Oh, we got Superstar Ricky Christ. Our specialty. With the big man Simo Streets. And we got the, the young up and comer Percy Gold. So gonna be gonna be very interesting and, uh, to see to see how this match goes along. Uh, in a ghetto street fight, uh, we don't don't really know if uh Gold's really got any uh, experience in a, in a fight like this. Uh, I'm sure CeeLo and uh and Ricky Christ have been in the type of match before. But. Well, CeeLo telling everybody as he walked down to the ring there, Jim, that that's their specialty, a ghetto street fight. So we'll have to see. Steven, get the table! Get the table! Get the table! Shiloh has been in the WWE and the team. Stay up! Stay up! Help me get up! Credentials are long. The Junior White making reference to Spider Man 2 as he was apparently an extra in that game. Oh, I don't know. That's what he told me. The unemployment line here in Cortland Gym, as soon as that harmonica starts, everybody starts going crazy. They love them here in Cortland for yeah. us here at ECPW yeah, Showcase. Yeah, you got, you got two Cortland guys here in this match. So, uh, yeah, they, these guys are probably the heavy fan favorites here uh, in Cortland, New York. And you got Aaron Nasty, who has always been able to identify with Cortland because he doesn't shower either. <laughs> As we get ready for the unemployment line to come through, led by the cruiser cripple himself, Glenn Post. The role model of ECPW. <laughs> here comes Aaron, Joe, and JD. Everybody wanna get wants to get a piece of these guys as they come around the ring. Sporting some uh some white t-shirts with some markers. Uh just creative for uh some guys that have no money using their uh well they have no jobs jim using their uh, ebt cards maybe uh selling some of their food stamps uh to get to get the markers and uh big aaron gets a hug from some fans and yeah, even aaron's sporting a new shirt 
this match is even starting in the ring, it, it's certainly not going to take very long before it's on the outside that is in the crowd. True. That is true, but it's all uh, it's all just to keep format, Jim, I believe. <laughs> just a formality. You know, there's no rules in this match. <laughs> anything goes, you can use anything, go anywhere. It's going to be interesting to see how J.D. Strait responds to this one. You've got a lot of people that are experienced. This is honestly J.D. Strait's first big match, to be honest with you. I mean, this one's, this one's going to go a long way to, to proving where he's at in this company. Well, he's only had one singles individual match, and that was against the Lucha Assassin, where he was, he was quite impressive, didn't pick up the victory, but was quite impressive in that match. And here we go. We're going to get things started. Let's see, as you can see, everybody, this match quickly goes right to the outside. He's got Average Joe taking on Percy Gold, throwing him into the into our wooden steps. Does that come from a trailer in Cortland? Is that where the steps came from? Listen, like I told you before, Phil, I saw people in Cortland pull up in a U-Haul, open up the back door, and literally stroll somebody in a wheelchair out. So, it, we're in Cortland, New York. There's no telling what and where we're going to find things. It all sucks because I didn't bring my banjo, Jim. Ricky Christ meets the mat there from J.D. Strait's help. J.D. Strait will throw him down again. Well, let's go over the pair-offs here so far. we got CeeLo Streets in the ring with, with Big Aaron. we got Ricky Christ fighting J.D. Strait and Average Joe and Percy, Percy Gold are somewhere around here. Uh, in, in this in this barn house that we're in, and there, and they, there are. they are. Ricky Ricky Christ of the taking it to J D Straight CeeLo Street in control of Big Air Nasty, and now Percy Gold in control of Average Joe. So it looks like B E T controlling this match very early here, Jim. And as you can see, we got help from our uh, Keystone referee, Fast Freddy. Who well, is out there with a with a broken foot, uh, trying to help Frankie? How Sosano. long has this foot been broke? I've been in this thing for two years, and his foot's been broke ever since I got in. I think he's milking it in the system now, Jim. <laughs> as you can see, there's Fast Freddy out there uh, giving a hand. Is like we said, anything goes and falls count anywhere in this match, Bill. So Fast Freddy on the outside try, gonna try to keep up with the action on the outside here. Well, JD Straight using the outside to his advantage, throwing Percy Gold into everything he can find, including the railings. And there goes the railings, they just broke. Glenn Post shouting instructions to JD Straight. Average Joe. What is that? Looks like a mop handle or something. Brew handle. Oh, Percy Gold takes Percy. exception to that. Saves his teammate. Meanwhile, JD Street still in control. Well, he, he just moved on to CeeLo. There's a battle of a couple big guys. CeeLo Street's obviously the veteran, the veteran by far of those two. Yeah, and he's also he's also got a stronger right hand, as you just seen. Is he gonna? He's not gonna. He's gonna suplex oh, him super on the outside. On the outside. And you hear CeeLo Street yelling in pain. Here goes Superstar missing, missing average Joe. There's Percy Gold to take care of that again. There's another mopper broom handle. Now you hear gonna... that. To the back of Seal and Aaron choking him out. We got two on one over here on Percy Gold. And Percy Gold's been saving everybody on BET when they get in trouble. So unemployment line trying to take him out of this match. Meanwhile, Aaron Nasty looking for some other equipment, I guess we'll call in this match, Jim. Average Joe's looking like he's looking to hit a home run. And apparently he just did. J.D. Strait still over here in control. And Percy Gold. And Mr. Entertainment can only watch. Oh, right across the stomach, Average Joe. 
And BET needs to show a little bit more unity here. And look at Mr. Entertainment getting involved. Yeah. Mr. Entertainment just took out JD straight from behind. Well, you knew it was only a matter of time. I mean, it is a ghetto street fight after all. I'd like to see him try that stuff on Aaron Nasty. JD straight. What's he being set up for? Oh! A nice move by Percy. There's a, only a two. Only a two count. Very impressive move from Percy Gold. And I don't know why BET hasn't tried to attack Aaron Nasty first. I think that's where they messed up in their strategy, Jim. Oh, yeah, without a doubt, you got to take out Big Aaron first in order to do anything in this match. Nice hip toss. And CeeLo's got that, uh, got that push broom. Oh, and JD was sweeping straight. for a little bit. I'm sure Cortland management is appreciative of that, of CeeLo's work. And Big Aaron's got CeeLo's scarf. He's choking out Ricky Christ. And the lights might be going out for Ricky Christ. This big Aaron's a, he's a big dude. Really, really choking him with that. And Ricky Christ gets out of it after a save. And as you can see... <laughs> Fast Freddy trying to keep up with uh, CeeLo. And wait a minute. Jim what does Mr. Entertainment have? I don't know. Brother White was right next to Did he just take and Cripple. Did he just take part of Glow Post's chair? Might be. Meanwhile, the unemployment line showing much more teamwork and unity here in this match then their opponents BET and what there's CeeLo and Average Joe out there and CeeLo taking advantage of that one on one time with Average Joe CeeLo streets as we say much more experience than Average Joe so the teaming the, the pairings for BET I mean, they, they're loving it. Oh, yeah. I mean, we got over, as you can see, off off in the side somewhere, we have Average Joe and Big and uh, Big CeeLo. Sorry. We got back in the ring. We got J.D. Straight. Baseball kicks. Ricky Christ. Yeah, right out there by Mr. Entertainment. Now, Percy Gold going to throw... JD straight out there by Mr. Entertainment. We'll have to watch if Mr. Entertainment takes advantage of it. And there goes Percy Gold. Being thrown out. There was Joe's on a, on a little table over there with CeeLo getting a chair. And look out. CeeLo's got a chair. What's he going to do with Joe? He rolls him over. Uh-oh. Oh! Chair shot right to the back. And this this match, hard to call, hard to film. Hard it's to all follow. over the That's place. A, yeah, we got three, three separate fights going on at once. Now Ricky Christen Jr. talking strategy here. As they've left Percy Gold in the ring with Big Air Nasty, and I'm not sure how... Smart that is. Yeah, that's that's a little bit of a mismatch right there. Is Aaron big go Aaron getting everybody behind him and Corlin. And Big Aaron doesn't see behind him. Oh, oh. Chair. It's almost like CeeLo sacrificed. Percy Gold in the corner to catch Big Aaron as he came down out of that corner. And there's a two count from Fast Freddy. As Average Joe tries to tries to pin 
Ricky Kreisen in the ring. CeeLo's trying to piss, uh, pin Big Aaron. Meanwhile, J.D. Straight's got a trash can. <laughs> he throws it right on Percy Gold's head. That's a good way to make an entrance. Well, the CeeLo catches him as he comes in, though. Here comes superstar Ricky Christ. CeeLo's jamming that that chair in there. Or the, ta or the garbage can, I'm sorry. And he asks Percy Gold to hold it for him. Oh, oh a he drop kick by CeeLo. Kicked it right into JD straight. We He's got Ricky Christ up in the other corner. And did he just go coast to coast? I think Ricky Christ just went coast to coast on Big Aaron. It only gets him a two count though, Jim. But as you said, Big Aaron out at the moment. Percy Gold's going to take Average Joe with a suplex. And a nice move there. Goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out. And Fast Freddy coming over the other side as, it, as Ricky Christ goes for another cover. And another two count. And there's two counts all over the place, Jim. There's JD Straight. Another two count. Everybody's getting two counts here, Phil. Well, this one's went all over the building. And now, oddly enough, the majority of it's now taking place in the ring. Ricky Christ, a nice little stomp for Average Joe's neck. This match is so hard to call, Phil. It's all over the place. And now Silo's uh -oh. gotten a table. It's about to turn in with a table. Silo <laughs> trying to set up the table. I wonder who that's going to be intended for. Whoever goes through it, that's gonna be that's gonna be a game changer. As it looks like it, the lucky participant is JD Straight, Jim. There goes JD Straight getting put on that table. And this could this could this could put the unemployment line at a very big disadvantage. A it almost out. didn't matter there. As Joe comes out and saves. JD straight from going through the table. Another two count by Ricky Christ. And now JD straight trying to regain his composure, but CeeLo Street's not gonna let him. No, there's a chair shot right to the back. And the unemployment line looked good in this one up until now. BT has looked like they've had the advantage the entire the entire time, but right on the cusp of that would be the unemployment line, Jim. It's really been back and forth. Oh yeah, definitely been a one heck of a match here. One one great street fight. It just always seems like BT might be a uh -oh. one step ahead. CeeLo's got JD straight. Oh, but he's blocking it. Blocks him again and, and CeeLo's not very happy. Just beating him down. He just throws JD straight on the table again. Wait, what's he gonna do now? It he's looks like he's perched up there on those steps, Jim. Oh! Right through the table goes JD straight. Everybody checking on JD Straight, making sure he's all right. Well, it didn't look it to me. Meanwhile, this has always been happening in the ring. 
And what's Mr. Entertainment doing in there? Well, he's got a chair. I don't know who he's trying to help. Oh, and he throws it. Oh, and a kick right to Aaron's face as he threw the chair in it. And again, we're going, we're going through two counts like they're going out of style, Jimmy. CeeLo Street helps out Ricky Christ. And that tells him that he's got it, Joe. Oh, oh, Ricky Christ, now it's CeeLo as Joe ducks out of the way. CeeLo seems half out of it. Ricky Christ is trying to see if he's all right. And the unemployment line may have just gotten the break they needed, Jim. Oh, well, here they go with the old bushwhacker head bash here. Ricky Christ trying to check on CeeLo. And we've seen this before, and Jim. Boom, the battering ram. We've seen this before. Aaron Nasty down. And they've got him. We got, we got a winner. And the unemployment line has picked up an impressive victory. With JD Strait also attached to that victory over BET. Yeah, very, very impressive. It was a very match that went all over the places. It was out in the crowd, it was outside the ring. We see we've said on our podcast, Jim, that you know we were looking for Aaron Nasty to come through. He needed that one breakout moment. This match has gone a long way for that. As he was impressive tonight. And he dare I say led this team. The unemployment line to a victory over BET tonight. Well, you know, BET, or, sorry, unemployment line is on some sort of a roll here. As you can see, CeeLo not very happy with Ricky Price right now. Yeah, CeeLo's beside himself. And there might be trouble brewing here in BET as Junior White's just staying out of it. Well, yeah, he doesn't want to get involved. Percy's trying to calm it down here. Cena's yelling at, at Percy and Ricky. Now Mr. Entertainment. He, he's very, very upset here. And oh, uh, wait a minute. Here comes Team Excite. And no one wanted them here. And what's Team Excite doing here, Jim? I'm sure they're here to take off the unemployment line. But why? Well, why not? I guess that's really the only reason Team Excite needs. You know, it's Team Excite. They come and go. They do what they want. And Team Excite taking out just about everybody there. So we got there. We got Team Cockmaster. And Avery's Nightmare. And slowly kicking... Everybody that was involved in this match out of the ring, Jim. We got, we got Team Excite in the ring. And team, team Excite makes another, another unwelcome entrance. We're trying to make a statement here, Phil. We got an LDC chant here. There's the uh, fairing down the middle commissioner, Dave Dumont. And as you can see, CeeLo Street's still upset. And now CeeLo Street has got to be doubly upset. He doesn't feel it's his his loss to take. Throws Percy Gold a little bit off of him. And then after that, the boot, he just got attacked by Team Excite. What a great, great match here, Phil. We still got our main event here. As Crazy Ivan defends his television championship against Fox Vineyard and Damian Destruction. Check out our ECPW 